Hey everyone, Guardian E here with a final wrap-up video for the Northern Overture event in Azure Lane. As you can see, the final day of the event itself is today, which means that tomorrow, the limited construction, uh, running the actual stages, all of that's going to end. So, wanted to do a quick wrap-up, did go through our daily pulls and our weekly pulls that we've sustained over the course of the event after the initial kind of splurge, as probably most of you saw my, my initial summoning video. Uh, and then clear out some of the shop, as well as gr uh, make a last-ditch grab for the costumes that I really want, and then show some of those off. So let's get started. We'll jump right into the daily polls now. All right, well, welcome to our first set of daily and weekly builds, light construction builds, uh, in the middle of the Northern Overture event. We did end up sweeping the banner, as uh, most of you have seen from the prior poll video, so we're just doing our dailies. Uh, hoping to get some additional fodder that we might need through the light construction. So let's finish all. These are essentially free summons or free pulls. We do get um, the cubes back for spending these. And also, oh boy. And also we get some of that delicious event currency as well. So I'm in the, in the process of grinding the event, of course, as everyone else is. Um, I have not cleared the shop yet. So I have not actually... Oh, I have grabbed Minsk. Oh, hey, there's a Cleave Lad. And Alina, so we get two of the two of the little baby ships in a row. Maybe three in a row? Uh, well, she's still a baby. Yeah, so I've gotten Minsk, and uh, but I haven't yet redeemed Gongoot yet, so I'm, I'm right on the edge of doing that. Oh, hey, Akashi! All right, so we are going to get an SR in this, uh, this set of pulls, so that's actually pretty nice. I don't need an Akashi. Definitely don't need Nakashi, but um, still always nice to get that Golden Flash. And that is going to be medals for me for the exchange, in case I need stuff for the exchange shop. So we're going to do three more for today's dailies. And we'll finish all to see what we get. Going to be uh, Raleigh, as well as Omaha, and a Hama. Okay, all right. Okay, well just as a brief event update uh, in between our daily and weekly pulls, just wanted to show that I did get the threshold for collecting those uh, those medals in order to recruit Gangoot. So we're going to do that right now, just go ahead and collect her. So let's get her right here. <laughs> um, the more I know about Gangoot, the more I really like her. Uh, her personality is just hilarious. She's kind of this very overdramatic... Uh, she has this really endearing, just over-dramatic and theatrical tone in everything that she does. Like, whether it's, it's like, saving the world or it's something as benign as, like, choosing what to get for lunch. Uh, she just has this, this tone about her, and it's, it's, it's a very endearing quality. Uh, it doesn't hurt that her design is absolutely beautiful as well. Uh, a little bit of a resemblance to Graf Zeppelin, I know people have noted. But I think she has kind of her own spin on that, of course. But uh, here's Gangoot. Ha ha ha, not bad, comrade. Come, let us fight for the safety of these Azure Lanes. Fight until your last breath. Alright, so that's great. And of course, she does have that awesome skin, which I'm most likely going to cave and buy before the end of the event. So you'll see, uh, probably in this video, <laughs> by the time the end of the event rolls in, whether or not uh, I just succumbed and just, just bought it. But I'll tell you right now, I probably will. So let's go ahead and lock her in. That's awesome. And then, of course, to round out the remainder of the event ships, we've got Minsk here. So let's grab her, Leningrad Class Destroyer Minsk, from the event shop. Would I like to buy Minsk? Sure. And here she is, Elite Minsk. Uh, how's that? What do you think? Huh? Where I'm from? They said you're supposed to surprise the people you're greeting. What? I'm the one being welcomed? Uh, sorry, I mixed something up. It's a very confusing greeting message. Uh, well, here's Minsk. This was the last ship to round out the rest of the event ship. So we have not only swept the banner, but also swept all of the uh, event ships themselves. So um, the rest of the grind, of course, is going to be for the remaining items in the shop, as well as the event exchange. And then there is also the little chat icon border that you can get for limit breaking all of the ships. We got 10 dailies here, plus another three for today. So let's get started, finish all. Now these are all light constructions as usual. And uh, yeah, just been grinding that event, you know, uh, trying to clear as much of the shop as we can, uh, get all of the ships max limit broken so we can uh, get that um, 
chat icon, which is pretty good. Oh, is Lipsig not new for me? I th for some reason, I thought she was new. I guess not. I, I don't know. I, I guess uh, I guess I have gotten her before. Uh, okay, we'll just keep moving on. I forgotten and Jersey as well. I, I guess those are maybe login bonus units, uh, login bonus ships. I just can't remember offhand. Uh, there's Ayanami. So yeah, we're 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 grinding through. We're making progress in the event itself. So that's gonna be it. And I think tomorrow is the last day to buy the skins. So I will definitely be doing that as well. And I'll show off. Um, I am gonna cave. I am going to get Soviet Russia's uh, skin because I think it looks too good to pass up. Um, as well as uh, Gongut's skin. They're both... I wish they were both live 2D, but they're not. Um, so, at least you get a gem discount. As in, they're not quite as expensive as live 2D costumes, but they still look great. So, I am going to get them. And then just kind of show them off. I already showed off uh, the lackadaisical um, costume for uh, Soviet Russia. So, um, But I do want to show off Gongut's as well. Okay, well, it looks like that's going to round it out. No SRs at all in any of those, but that's okay. We're really just in saving mode for the next event already. So now we'll just jump to tomorrow for the event wrap-up. All right, well, welcome back. Pretty uneventful. I mean, you can't really expect too much from a set of light construction pulls like that, uh, but really didn't get a whole heck of a lot there. We do have three pulls here just for today, the final day. And these three pulls are actually from the event proper, so we could potentially... I didn't look at the build times when I did these a while back, so uh, these could potentially be event ships. Let's just finish all right now and finish off the event with a, li a little splurge, a, li a tiny little splurge, a three-pull. Uh, we're s starting with an Oklahoma, followed by Kunigasa and Chicago. So no, that is, uh, that is a negative. We're not going to get any surprise... Russian ships uh, in this final set of pulls. And just one more for posterity, uh, just because really, uh, well, I want to make the video an even 30 pulls, so that's what we're going to do. So here's the last one of the event. After this, Northern Overture is over. Oh, and it's Aurora! That is, that is nuts. That's crazy. Um, I have Aurora. I have her fully max limit broken. And interestingly enough, she's the only ship that I didn't get throughout the course of the entire event and in our initial pulls for the event. She she just was lying in wait this entire time, and then she suddenly decided to show at the end when I... I, I mean, I don't need her. This is this pull I was just doing to, <laughs> to round out the pulls in the video, and that's amazing because uh, even though I don't need her, uh, it's great to see her. And that means that we did kind of officially sweep the entire banner. We got all of the ships on it. So here's Aurora, um, Aurora reporting in, along with the light of dawn, I shall bring you victory. So that is awesome. That is really, really fantastic stuff. Beautiful. We do have a second Gangoot that we unlocked here in the, just the point accumulation event. So we'll just go ahead and collect her right here. We may as well. Uh, Gangoot's design is awesome. I, I, she's really, really grown on me. I mean, I liked her design from the very beginning, but actually... Just her personality is so, so funny. I think it's hilarious that she's kind of this over-the-top character. She's just kind of awesome. So I may even keep this copy. My other one is fully max limit broken. I may just keep this one uh, just to have as, like, the regular outfit um, versus the new skin that I'm going to buy today. And then, finally, we have the Call to Arms Northern Front. So we did get all of the points that we needed for Phase 2 here in order to get the, um, the little chat border and so the chat border i'll be able to represent the the russian ships here proof of solidarity so let's go ahead and collect that right now so we did unlock that style very nice and we can go ahead and select that right now proof of solidarity unite comrades the world is ours to change and then finally last but not least i did mention that i was absolutely going to cave and just get these skins because uh, Soviet Russia looks absolutely beautiful here, so I'm going to get this skin. I did use the little preview ticket uh, to try it out for a bit, and it's awesome. Again, the, the worst part of it is the fact that it's not live 2D. So we'll go ahead and grab the Lackadaisical Lookout right now, spend those gems, 
absolutely awesome. We'll go ahead and slap this on her so she can be nice and casual and show off that midriff. And then we'll go ahead and get the Imposing Warden as well. Like I said, I love Kangoot and this skin is hilarious. We're, we're going to grab it. Absolutely. Uh, Imposing Warden, you have my thanks for this exercise, comrade. I shall gladly carry out the important duty of judge, jury, and rehabilitator. That's a little scary, uh, but we can take a look here um, at the skin. Oh, actually, she kind of slides outside of the, the background, the backdrop that's there. But yeah, she's she's stepping on this poor Manju over here. Well, quote-unquote poor Manju. I'm using that pretty generously or, or loosely, uh, considering that I think the Manju has a lot to be thankful for as well. So we'll go ahead and put this on her. There we go. And we can check them out in, right here as the secretary. Very nice. We can just pat her head a little bit. So we can get some reactions out of her here. Uh, care for a drink, comrade? It's good stuff. All right, I'll, I'll share a... Bottoms up, Gangoot. Bottoms up. I'll absolutely share a drink with you. What are you doing, comrade? Lawbreakers? Oh, that's a little extreme, don't you think? Well, uh, uh, well, I say extreme in, like, a themed event for, like, the Gulag. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then, of course, we already we already looked at um, Soviet Russia's skin here. But, yeah, she does look great. That's pretty awesome. For today's handshake, I'm not going to clap you in irons. Relax. Let's go ahead and... Do you want to be handcuffed? Yeah, they are all rocking handcuffs, so better behave, right? Uh, and then, of course, we've got uh, Chapayev as well over here. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me for the Northern Overture event. Uh, we did end up clearing out most of the shop. Actually, actually, nope, wait, before we do that, let's go to the shop. Uh, and let's go ahead and buy this out, because I haven't done that yet. So we'll max out, we'll buy out all of these gun designs. Uh, that's really the priority here, other than getting a copy of Minsk and Chapayev, if you didn't already. But those two unique weapons are really the, the kind of the, the big priority uh, as far as getting, you know, emptying out the shop. The rest of it, I mean, like I said, I already have Minsk and Chapayev uh, limit broken at this point, so don't need to burn for more copies of those. It's really just going to be the blueprints, so we'll just go ahead and grab 10 blueprints right here. Uh, and then we'll grab, you know, uh, as many of these other blueprints as well. Yeah, so we didn't get all of the blueprints from the shop, but that's fine. That's fine. I kind of lightly grinded until the, like, the very end, so didn't really do as well as I probably could have. But yeah, that's going to do it for the Northern Overture event. Uh, hopefully you guys did very well on your pulls throughout the course of the event. If you were doing your daily pulls, as is the most efficient way of procuring the ships, hopefully you ended up getting all of them and all of the targets and limit break materials that you needed. Let me know in the comments below how you did, uh, how you did on the, the event grind as well, and if you managed to clear out the shop. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching and taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really, really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those waters.